good morning good afternoon and good evening guys <coughs> my name is morgan and uh, i'm starting a series of uh, storytelling uh, by the title the journey to a barista and uh, today's guest we have is called uh, barista boni uh, He's going to explain or tell us how he found himself to be a professional barista. So I hope you learn something out of this. And uh, yeah, thank you. Hi there. Uh, my name is Bonfas Muate. And uh, I just want to take you on my journey as a barista. And this is my story. Uh, my journey starts uh, back in 2007 uh, when I was looking for a job. I was really struggling at that time. I didn't have any job, so I was just staying at home. So I wrote my, my CV. I an advertisement. Gazetti, so uh, I had to take that chance. I decided to take it uh, to Java. Then, after the Mendica Siviangu, I remember uh, I wrote it like today. Then, the next day, I went to ABC. I bought a matatu from that time. I used to stay in Kangemi. So uh, I took a uh, matatu from, AB, uh, from Kangemi to ABC. That's so, Westlands? Yes, that's uh, Westlands, Nairobi, Kenya. So uh, I went to the reception. Nikakuta, there was, there was that beautiful girl. I don't know what's her name. So uh, I was like, I want a job. So she asked me for my CV. I gave her my CV and I went back home. So I stayed, uh, after I gave out my CV, uh, it took me some time for them to call me. So it took me like uh, one month or two months. I remember it was one and a half months. So it was in, in evening, it was like 2 p.m. I saw my phone ringing. I had a, I had a small phone, a Motorola, that my mother, my, 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 my mother gave me. So by that time, Motorola and something of the sort. So, hello, what am I talking? Am I talking to Boniface Mother? He said, yes. Uh, I'm HR so and so. I don't remember the name, but I remember she told me I'm HR from Java. And we have an interview on Monday. It was, it was on a Friday. So I was very happy, my friend. <laughs> I was very happy. Ah, I remember, I remember very well. She told me, uh, by 11, you should be at ABC because we are starting our, our interviews at 12. So I said, okay, I'm free on Monday and I'll come. So uh, that day, my friend, it was like heaven in Lishuka. I uh, was very happy. I knew, I knew this one. I'm going to get it. So uh, on Monday, on Monday, on on that Monday morning, I wake up very early at around at around six. I just started preparing. So because I was going for an interview, so I was even checking. So and my cue, remember. I had not applied for any position. I just took my CV. It's my CV. I, I, I didn't say I wanted to be yes, a barista. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I didn't say anything. So I was called. So by 11, I was at ABC, remember? And to my surprise, we were very many people at the reception. We just sat down waiting for our interview. And my time came. And uh, my heart was beating very hard when I opened the door, the boardroom door. 
So I saw one one person by the name was it Ohomo and Naima and Kevin Ashley. Yes. I remember they sat down. So I went and sat down there. I, I said hi to them. And they replied back and uh, they started asking me questions. So they asked my education background, I told them. And they asked me why I was eager to join their company. After they asked me uh, a lot of questions, and uh, they, they were okay, they asked me if I had any question. So I told them I had no question. That was it. They told me, okay, we shall get back to you. And that was it. So uh, I waited. I went back home and I knew they were placed with me. So in the, after, after, after a while, after one month or so, I got another call from them. And uh, they told me, I was asked, do you mind being a dishwasher? I, I told them, no problem. Because, they, okay, they told me to start as a dishwasher was a good idea because uh, Java is a growing company. So you just grow with the step, by step. step by step as Java grows. So I said it was a good, uh, good, good uh, position. And uh, after that, I went to job. I started as a dishwasher in Java and I uh, was very happy. Which, which, which branch? Because I know Java has uh, many branches. My first branch to work uh, in Java was a uh, junction. I remember I was, uh, I was posted there. B before, before I went to junction, we, we, we started uh, something called orientation as a job, whatever. So we went to ABC, we were introduced on how the dishwasher works, on how to, to clean the dishes, yeah. And after that, after, after we knew, after we were now familiar with how the dishwasher works and how to wash the plates, I was taken to Junction. And now, that was my beginning. That was my first job ever to work in a company. Now, uh, so I was introduced to a chef called, uh, if I can remember, it was uh, Kangete. If Kangede were watching, you can remember me. Uh, Kangede was a very nice chef, so I was introduced to him. I was told every morning when you come, you report to him. Or if you need anything, you report to chefs. So Junction was a very busy branch. I remember we used to wash dishes, plates, in a, in a rolling manner. It was you wash this, you wash this, it gets dirty, you wash it again, it gets dirty, you wash again, it gets dirty. So it was, it was a rotate circular way. So it was very busy, my friend. So I got to new, I got to know new people, I got to, I got to know how to work in a company, I got to know how to respect people, I got to know this, this something that grew in me, love. So we used to, before, before we start washing, washing dishes, we used to have a briefing, a, a briefing on, how, on how the day could, uh, could end and how we could start our day and pray. So uh, it's something that uh, built me from, uh, from what I am now. So uh, I really thank Java and uh, I think Java is a, is a nice company because it has built me from scratch to where I am now. So in Java, I got to meet very, very many friends. In Java, because in Java they say you need to, to have a future. You need to grow as Java grows. Eh? So uh, we, we, were, we were told in briefing one day, I remember, yeah, in, they told us, just go home, think of what you want to be and what department you want to be, 
and uh, and start training. So uh, I was I, when okay when I was working, I thought of why don't I become a barista? Because I used to see them drawing very nice flowers, and they were doing this very professionally. So I was like, ah, I can try this. So that's how I, my interest as a barista started. So in a couple of uh, weeks or months, I, I decided I wanted to be a barista in Java. So uh, I started training as a barista and I remember I used, I used to finish washing dishes at around maybe three o'clock. So after washing dishes in the morning, in the evening, I don't go home. While others are going home, I remain back and go to the, uh, to the barista counter and start training. I remember I was trained by uh, one person by the name Elvis and uh, um, B BKT. Uh, so I trained, I trained for like, I trained for like uh, three months training every day every day training three months so uh, i remember even sometimes when I, when it was on my off day i used to come to work not wash dishes but to train yeah but to train so uh, uh, i remember <clears throat> this one this one day manager called terry terry and terry if you're watching this get my greetings <laughs> uh, so Terry really pushed me uh, she used to tell me Bonnie I want you to train I want you to become a barista you're very good at this I know you can make it so she really built me in my heart so I kept on pushing I kept on pushing and there was a time they said uh, they sent they sent a memo a memo so uh, Mutie, the head, the multi-unit barista, needed to promote those people, those people that were, were washing dishes, to become baristas. So uh, I, um, I went for an interview at ABC. Uh, it was not really an interview; it was an exam because they just needed to know if you have some knowledge about the coffee and. Uh, making lattes, making cappuccinos. So uh, we, I went there one day, I remember, after my shift in the evening, I went to ABC. Uh, I saw Mutia and he asked me some few questions and uh, he gave me an exam. So I did an exam and that's how I was. I got promoted as a barista. So you passed the exam, then you yes. Yes, so I passed my exam. Before I got promoted, it took me some while. It was because of uh, the, the, I had to give, uh, they had to take time to, empl to employ new employees as dishwashers so that they could come and take my position. So I waited for like uh, one month and new employees came as dishwashers and that's how I got to my counter. So I started making coffee captain was a, was a barista and I was very happy. I remember uh, when I was promoted, uh, my first branch to work as a barista was in Junction, but uh, we, used to, we used to rotate from one, one branch to another. So I remember I, I worked at ABC, I worked uh, at uh, Adam's Arcade, I worked at uh, Kimadi, uh, airport, uh, just to mention but a few. So uh, I, worked, I, I worked in Java for 11 years and uh, it was a very nice experience working in Java and uh, in 2018 I decided uh, because I had gained a lot of experience and it was my time now to explore the world as a barista. So, uh, during my free times, I used to go online 
and check for uh, new jobs in different countries of the world. And uh, I applied a couple of countries. I remember I applied, I, there's one, one that I applied on US, another one I applied in UK, another one I applied in Kuwait, another one I applied in, okay, there was so, uh, there was so many countries, I can't remember. But uh, this one, this one, this one country that uh, contacted me, and uh, they, they asked me for my experience as a barista. I told them, and we used Skype. To, I used Skype to talk to them. So uh, we talked one on one. I told them my experience, uh, and uh, it was in Kuwait. It was in Kuwait. So. Uh, after they were satisfied of my explanation as a barista, they sent me visa, and uh, that's how I came to find myself working in Kuwait as a barista. In the beginning of 2018, uh, that's when I came to Kuwait, and I joined a company called Gahwa. It was a new restaurant. And I worked there for almost one, one year. One year, it was a very nice company. I remember uh, it was owned by one Mr. Muhammad. <laughs> it was a very nice guy. So I, I, I got to, 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 to get new experience in new country as a barista. So uh, I got to new uh, different uh, uh, different machines. So uh, my people, that's my story as a that's my journey as a barista, and uh, I hope this story will encourage one person there to follow your heart. Thank you so much, and bye bye for now.